In this video, I want us to take a look at the name Hebrew, Israel, Israelites, Jews, and Christians to kind of see when they come up in the Bible and how they relate to one another in the Bible. The first time we see the word Hebrew is in Genesis 14, 13, and it's used to describe Abram, whose name was changed to Abraham. It's used to describe his nationality to let us know that he was a Hebrew. And then when it comes to the name Israel, the first time we see that is in Genesis 32, 28. And that is because of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed from Jacob to Israel when he was fighting with the angel. And so the angel said, because you have overcome God and man, I will change you will no longer be named known as Jacob, but as Israel. And then the word Israelites, you see that in Genesis 32, 29. Israelites are referring to the descendants of Jacob, now Israel. So his family, his generation, his descendants are called the Israelites because of who he is now, Israel. And then when you go to the word Jew, the first time you're going to see that word mentioned in the Bible is in 2 Kings 16, 6. With this situation, the last time the Israelites was ruled as one kingdom was under King Solomon. Once King Solomon died, they split up. Ten of the tribes went and formed the northern kingdom which was known as Israel. And then the other two tribes formed the southern kingdom, which was known as Judah. Jerusalem was part of Judah, and that's where the Levites lived. And they were um, set aside by God to be priests and to take care of um, the worship and everything like that. So they was, so it was um, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi tribe that made up the kingdom, the southern kingdom of Judah. So when they mention in 2 Kings the word um, Jews, it's referring to the residents the, of Judah. The people who are living in Judah, they're known as Jews. And then the last one we're going to look at is Christian. The first time you see that mentioned in the Bible is Acts eleven twenty six. And Paul mentioned Christians to let them know that anyone that followed Christ, that followed Jesus, was known as a Christian. And they did not um, acknowledge or follow the emperor of Rome or, you know, his laws or his teaching. They followed the teaching of Christ. And so the reason I wanted to share that is because when you look through the Bible itself, you always see God mention lineages, who, who come from who, where they come from, what tribe they are, what nationality they are, who they come from, different things like that. So you can kind of follow along to know who you're talking about. And if you hear a certain name, then you know, okay, like if you hear the name Jews referenced in the Bible, you know that in this particular situation, they're talking about Judah, just like with the Levite. When you hear them, sometimes they're known as Levi or Levites, but you know they're mentioning the same people. Or if you hear the name Jacob and Israel, you know they're the same. If you hear the name Israelites, you know they are the descendants of Israel, the descendants of Jacob. If you hear the name Hebrew, because sometimes they're known as Hebrew, that's because of Abraham. They are Their nationality is Hebrew. So that kind of gives you a to be able to follow along, to kind of understand they're not talking about different groups of people. They're talking about the same group of people, depending on where they are, where they live and different things like that. So I just wanted to share that with you. I will also put the um, scriptures in the description box so you can read it for yourself. And I always encourage you to read it for yourself, read the Bible. And that's basically it. Peace.